over Don't let me be Go to the valley Climb the hill Whatever it takes, darling No, I think she's been kidnapped. I won't get tired. Oh, what's up, sexy? I missed you. Reunited. I couldn't wait to see her. I was missing her so much. I'm just. I'm just so happy. <laughs> Don't let him see what's in the trunk. <laughs> America. It's nice back here. Yeah? Oh. Looks luxurious. Elegant. This is a 76 Fleetwood Brome Elegance. Turned into the Brome de Elegance. Team 76. What well, did you estimate it's making at the club. wheels now? You are the yacht club. 425 to the wheels. So we figure it's about 6,000 pounds. So Mike's three FLS tons of American steel. Oh, I got 1,000 pounds on you. Wheel, yeah. I got that on you. <laughs> what I may lack in power, I make up for in food. Mobile bar car. 300 horsepower, 6.8 liters, 10 cylinders. The ZL1, the uh, the coupe one, not the drop top. With handsome Rob? With uh, yeah, handsome Rob or ugly Rob as Henry likes to call. Him. Welcome to Dust Ball. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, yeah. Looking for a model there, Matt? Yeah, look at this. Look at that, look at this, look at that. Disappear inside. And I know that you see me. You know that I see you too. But you don't need a genie. Believe me, I can make you wish. The West is the best. Wait, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm, I'm manually pushing it down, not by the big sticker. Oh, look at that. Oh, right well, the couple that vinyls together stayed together, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> You don't want that on the front? Well, we have dust ball rally on the front. I mean, that way when we're passing people, they see. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. <laughs> Solo stickering. 
all the wrinkles. It's all about the wrinkles. We embrace the wrinkles. I got away with it. What are you most excited for? I'm looking, I'm ex most excited for the roads. That's what I come for, the roads. Like, we've experienced some of the best roads ever last year. Looking forward to great roads this year. I can't wait to just get going. It's just exciting. This is the exciting part, right? <laughs> exciting for driving with everybody, going on the roads. It's awesome, I love it. That's why we keep coming back. I know. I'm excited that Andy and, and Leandro are here. Yes, that's very exciting. That's a big one. All right, so as a tradition, the beginning of every dust ball, we have teams come up and tell us a little bit about yourselves. Starting with car number point zero eight, team DWI. DWI stands for Danny with Isaac, or if you speak German, it's Danny und Isaac, DUI. We're in a new car this year. We're in the bright blue Cadillac Blackwing. We are uh, Team Delta Force. This is Alan's fourth main event. Four. The, the car's fifth main event and my third main event. This is our first main event, our first rally, our first ever. This is our third consecutive rally. Our first rally since 2014. Week of a year that I'm by myself, not texting or emailing or calling. So it's kind of great for me. We look forward to finishing dead last again. <laughs> last year we had a C7 Z06, broke too many wheels. So we switched to a C8 Z06 this year. So I'm looking forward to a week in the car, talking cars, and just seeing the country. And we're really looking forward to meeting everyone, experiencing our first dust ball ever, um, and just having a blast for the next week. Henry once told us that you could uh, rally in anything, so we are in a 2020 Kia Soul. Yeah. So we've won the past three years in a row. <laughs> um, and Will made this bet that if uh, Jared and Freddie made it to four, he would get their faces tattooed on his body. I asked if the bet extended. He said it did. So should we win this year, Will has to get our faces tattooed on his body. This is our first time ever doing a rally. My nickname is Runway Ricky, so I hope I'm not turned around and behind everybody else. I thought, as a navigator, I was going to enjoy a very relaxing drive. <laughs> Kelly told me that I will not be reading any of the books I have. <laughs> I'm so tired. Well, how am I going to impress everybody in the Dust Ball Rally this year? Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, Henry. You want to rally a land yacht? What's a land yacht? Oh, you know it's one of those giant cars from the 1970s that can't turn, can't brake, and gets 10 miles to the gallon? Ring, 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 ring. Hello. <laughs> You want to build a land yacht into an absolute rally weapon? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> never had a ticket on a rally. Never had a mechanical breakdown on a rally. <laughs> now we'll see if this superstition thing's real. <laughs> Just glad to be back, everybody. It's always great seeing all the familiar faces, and we look forward to meeting all the new people, and uh, that's what makes this thing as great as it is. So we're happy to be back. Um, I'm originally from England, but I live in Seattle, so I'm really pumped to do this. I've known him for three days. I, I actually don't know his last name. So, uh, John and I are both members at a brewery in Denver, and we talk cars when we're there together, so uh, the bartender was, he's like, well, I don't have a navigator, and I'm going on this big rally, and the bartender was like, you two won't shut up about cars. Ask him. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless America. Uncle 
Uncle Sam wants you to rally. I yeah. want you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, sir. God. Oh my good lord. My cone's over there. There you go. <laughs> nice. Hey. Hey, one on. Go. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, Sal, where do you think we're heading tonight? Somewhere between here and Detroit. Wrens and Memphis or Springfield. God bless America! Alright, everybody. You guys all been through the driver's video. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure that you're safe and you know you're passing the following and everything should be uh, be good. Nice And I can't 
Shreveport. Um, and then we had to go back to Texarkana. Yeah. On someone else. Drake's yogurt and uh, canned peaches are not a good combo for breakfast before you do twisty roads. Don't recommend it. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just happy you told me pull over before we had a mess in the car. Which end did it come out? <laughs> uh, top end. Oh, uh, no, I haven't. I haven't.
Always, man. It's a good time. Well, how are the roller coasters today? We didn't get sick. You didn't? We didn't get sick. You're probably the only team. We drove so slow, can't get sick. <laughs> Any seasickness in the boat today? No. No, not even a little bit. Good. Not a sleeping, yes. Okay. We should try the next time, just sleep. Yeah. I'd say it's a successful three hour tour. The whoops were interesting, but the roads were kick ass. Picture kick perfect. Ass. Oh, we did good. We did last the first challenge. We took 40 minutes to figure out our route, so we were all the way in the back, and we came in and probably like third today. We don't know why they got sick. Barf Central. Barf Central. Barf Central. Blast of a road. Had a great time. Puked like crazy. Closed the door. Got back in and kept going. A lot of ups and downs. Uh, <laughs> I had a blast. As a passenger, it was tough. It was uh, some, some tummy troubles along the way. How was the road today? When it was wonderful. Yeah? I did not park. No, you didn't? Nope. Not at all? Not even close. How about your son? Oh, yeah. He did it in front of everybody. So he comes out and he's like, ah, ah, ah. And he's just throwing up. And we're all standing around in a semicircle watching. Missouri. They know what they're doing. I, something about, you know, curvy roads, just vertically curving. Today's roads were awesome. Well, I think it was Highway 76 coming out of Missouri. Like, the ups and downs, just like over and over again. Like, you could actually, like he said, you could feel your stomach bottom out. And you're coming back up, it just like releases. And then you got like a blind corner on the back side of it. I've been a seven year veteran. Today ranks as a day the best. I, I loved driving. I learned more about my car today than I have in the last 4,000 miles. I managed to hold my stomach. Um, <laughs> I love them. Hang on, that's a roller coaster. Yeah. It's wee, wee, wee. It was awesome. Yeah? It was the best run of yep. the most air I think I've ever on. had on Dust Ball. Yeah? Yeah. It was the best. I didn't throw up, but I wanted to. Woo! Awesome. Tiny nauseous. There's a lot of ups, a lot of downs. My head was spinning. Mm -hmm. But hey, we kept the car straight. That's all that matters. Oh, it was great. It was amazing. Nice, dude. Yeah. Didn't have any problems. Best roads today ever. Today could have possibly been the best day of driving that I've ever had in four years of dust balling. Legit? 100%. Legit. Yeah. Legit. Legit. It was. Twisties, twisties from start to finish. No sickness? Not in my car, but many others. Oh, we, got no we stopped four times for my co-driver to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> the hills were so hilly, my tongue yeah. fit through it. <laughs> Blind over crests are challenging. What? What? My driver, Chris Munger. <laughs> he's good. Good stuff? He's pretty good. Uh, spine hurts, but it's good. <laughs> It was beautiful. Uh, gorgeous roads, uh, the whoop sections through all the rolling hills, um, having fun in the rain. It was the first rainy day of dust ball for me, so I loved that. Oh my god. Celeb shot. I see how it is. No, no, no. Well, oh, what, yeah, I see fine. how you just ditch me when... Sal, how did uh, Tanya handle it? Stomach of steel. She was a little, like, 
def deflated a little bit. I had to blow her a few times, but she's used to it. All right, good. And uh, how's the charger doing so far? By the way, Tennessee. The charger is charging. All right, how'd the excursion perform? I did pass a Ferrari today. Ten cylinders of America. Where do you think we're going to America? I think we're going to go down the Natchez, and we're going to go to Clarksville, Mississippi, and then head a little bit northeast to Nashville. She stole it from me. I would think Nashville. He thinks we're going down the Natchez Trace Boulevard to Clarksville, Mississippi. Murlock here, he thinks we're going down the Natchez. <laughs> what I'm hoping for is Minneapolis. We're wondering if we'll go east a bit. Maybe in the mountains? We don't know. I don't know. I think, I think there's going to be. Maybe we'll dip down in Tennessee. But I'd, I'd like to see some mountains. I think we'll we could end up in Santa Fe, New Mexico. <laughs> Wait, that's starved for media. Yes, I am. <laughs> She didn't see anything. Oh, that's a hollow. Phew. I think Robert really wants one of these. I feel like he understands the deep truth embodied in the sticker. Think so? I do think so. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot here, yeah. and I just feel like if I asked him, he'd want me to do this. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look how cute. That's so nice. So nice. Thanks. So nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I just got laid. We want to make sure everyone gets laid. This dust ball rally. A fellow Seattleite who surely will understand the deep spiritual meaning of the West of the Best. I don't think this is one of our cars covered in lays and I, everything's all tangled up. I just want everyone to be in the nice Mahalo spirit in the morning. And have How many nice... puns have been made? They're all gonna come out tomorrow. Okay. Midwest is the best. <laughs> Midwest is pretty damn wet right now. Even in Seattle, we don't get this stuff. <laughs> we like pulled out, went down the road, got three blocks up, and saw a bunch of flashing lights. So saw a CRV with the water over the back bumper. So we turned around, went back down a one-way street to come back here. <laughs> Guys are looking good. <laughs> I got, I got my rain hat. Yeah, we need a bigger boat. Celebrating with more water. <laughs> Another day on dust ball. Having great roads, great weather. We're gonna be swimming today. With the ball again. I like your hair, man. Uh, Robert, yes, sir. what's the plan for the day, dude? Probably, it probably will at some point. <laughs> That's the plan. Biblical rain. And I have our compound tires on my Corvette, which seemed like a wonderful idea at the time, but now I am questioning that decision because it doesn't do well with standing water, and there appears to be quite a bit of standing water. <laughs> That was a dangerous move right there. North 
HC Mathis driving. Look back at us. They all just look at us. <laughs> you ever wonder where that uh, little saying, he's in his wits end, come from? Right here in the Bible. Amen. You Amen. Amen. <laughs> Stephanie felt that she needed to take the tires off. Oh, again. I felt. Yeah? Why'd you feel that? Uh, somebody was yelling about his brake caliper and his brakes feeling wonky and wasn't happy with how they felt. It's like, I'm gonna pull over at the next place that's available. So we wanted to break it free and bleed both sides just to make sure. It was nice, safe. yeah, good call. I am, uh, I'm only here to supervise. Then Hans showed up and he saved it. I love it. <laughs> if it weren't for Hans, of course he did mention something about insufficiently German. It would not be a problem otherwise. <laughs> Five guys out here and I'm the only one wrenching. Whiskey, <laughs> Tango, Foxtrot. That's what her shirt yeah. says. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was perfect for this morning. It does. Excellent work. Good job. Good job. Good, good job.
give me the fun. You ever stand up? I was running show? whispering in high school. When I, was, when I was playing football in high school, we did two a days. Hey, Robert. How was the car today in the rain, dude? I, I wouldn't know because I skipped it. <laughs> We went, we went straight, we followed the medleys and went straight to the hotel. I haven't bought in on the no sniveling thing at this point in my life, no. even though I've been doing this for eight years. You might be right or die, you're not right and die. Could you run through four titles, four your cars. car issues, <laughs> just real quick? Sure. Start to finish. Sure, 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 okay. Which start? <laughs> Day one, cruising along two hours outside of Dallas. Uh, smoke, oil. We get a lift from Duncan and Allen into Texarkana, Texas, where we get a Dodge Charger. Uh, hood, la hood latch is broken. One bolt loose, one bolt sheer. Hood is lifting and wobbling at speed. Uh, alignment is off, dried coolant all inside of the engine bay, and the car was ant infested. So we get to Paducah. No rental agency in Paducah has cars. I said, here's what's all going on. What can you do? And the guy said, if you come and drop the car off, you're going to be walking. So, parking lot, we zip tie the hood shut, we deal with all the rest, and we make it to, where are we now? Lexington, Kentucky. The poor fellow was very confused, but helpful. Put us into a Hyundai... I think it's an Elantra. Elantra, yes. GT? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, we're day three, we're car three, and we're dust balling harder than ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you doing? Hey! <laughs> just a little welcome present for a few friends of mine. You know, just want to make sure that they feel loved, acknowledged, and appreciated by Team 76, who is driving the most awesomest car on the railway. What? I can't blow these up. Well, I'll blow them up and you stick them. Makes the dream worse. Balloons making a party. Land is real. It's a, compro <laughs> it's a compromise. <laughs> Teamwork. I'm not very smart and I have great lungs and Sal doesn't have great lungs and is very smart, so. Fresh day, fresh start. Dry roads, can't complain. How do your wrists feel? Uh, my lawyer has said not to comment on the condition of my wrists or any other matters pertaining to us. I'm diving deeper, deeper for you. Down to the bottom, two thousand emerald pools. Down to the bottom, two thousand emerald pools. We got a lot. Boys, huh? another day in paradise. <laughs> day four begins today. I don't know if I want to take a chance. I think these are going to go in the souvenir bag. Yeah, these would not have stayed. I think he wants slaps. Uh, knuckles, bring your knuckles. <laughs> what are your names? We're going to ask you complicated things we don't know. Henry has an assigned name. <laughs> I'm here for my absolutions. <laughs> Hail Marys. I was like, what? I thought I was kidding. Right, I just had a heart attack. <laughs>
expecting that. Dude. <laughs> How's the rally going so far? This is day four. Oh, uh, not bad. Uh, I still think Missouri was some of my favorite roads with the ups and downs and lefts and rights. Uh, today's gone pretty smooth so far. Uh, not a lot of gimmicks, but uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday could have went better. Our recirculation valve got stuck open, so it was just dumping boost. Uh, going up hills sometimes we couldn't get past 40 miles an hour. Uh, but things are going pretty smooth today, so. Uh, we're going to Columbus tonight, it looks like. I got some friends I haven't seen in 15 years that I'm hoping to meet up with, depending when we get there in time. But yeah, things are going great. I, I, how'd you feel going into that tunnel? Oh. I didn't know what to expect because like all of a sudden there's like a, face, a rock face and uh, then there was a hole. It's like, okay. <laughs> I was kind of looking for some coyotes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, beep beep. Yeah, it looked like a facade, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, get, we're, we're, we're really working on gimmicks. We're trying to uh, save uh, Will. I kind of, he seemed okay. Yeah. He seemed like an okay kind of guy. And, you know, no offense to Jay and Sam, I wouldn't want their uh, faces tattooed on me either. <laughs> You 
that's easy to say We have a list of people that we would take A bullet for them, a bullet for you A bullet for everybody in this room But they don't seem to see many bullets coming through See many bullets coming through Metaphorically, I'm the man But literally, I don't know what I do I'd live for you and that's hard to do Even harder to say when you know it's not true Even harder to write when you know that tonight That when people back home will try talking to you But then you ignore them still All these questions, they're falling Like who would you live for? Who would you die for? And would you ever on a school bus, ah. but I won't admit to anything exactly. without a lawyer present. Exactly. exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got Parker right here. Late start. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. Yeah, it was just a little. Well, so was the two tires, four hour late start, and then everything was perfect. Nice. Yeah. Right. That's, that's awesome. awesome. That's yeah. a good day. I've got a, I've got a Kelly Edge oh. Sport <laughs> tire. I hear that's highly that? regarded. That's oh, dust yeah. Made Dude, that's that's amazing. So, yeah, this is what I ended up with Kelly Edge Sport. So you guys got it at nine today. What time did you guys get in yesterday? Uh, 145. 145. 145 this room morning. At 2.30. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are looking forward to a good night's sleep? Yeah. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to a bourbon and an old fashioned. Yeah. 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 The worst part about you know being at the back and getting a four hour delay is that the radios are really quiet. Yeah. Oh. So you get a little sad because <laughs> yeah. there's nobody around. Uh, so here things got a little moist in the McLaren. <laughs> Well, it wasn't just because of my fast driving, you know. It was because uh, of the heavy corners and my window wasn't up all the way, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't your window up? Uh, McLaren problems, you know, electronics. <laughs> yeah. uh, failed yesterday after seven inches of rain in Kentucky, so. And I, we had a tra I had to prop a trash bag up <laughs> to try to catch the water. So he would be driving like 90 and I'm unbelted trying to catch the water. It was quite eventful. <laughs> Did anything break? Is everything okay? Yeah, we're good. We got the window up, so we're, I'm just climbing through the passenger seat now. So. Yeah, that's pretty funny, having him getting in and out of the passenger seat. <laughs> run, run, run! <laughs> that is soaking wet! <laughs> Michelle, you're... Michelle, people pay to not do this. I'm saving money on showers. Okay. Did you get to see the, the H-Cooler that had flipped over? Yeah, so we came around a turn. We had one car in front of us. They were stopped. We stopped and uh, looked ahead of us. And we got out of the car and there was a 18-wheeler flipped over. Cab was completely upside down. There was the a trailer filled with cows that was like halfway flipped over. Uh, we went out to see if we could help in any way. Uh, there were probably 10 to 12 dust ballers that went up, and there wasn't much we could do. But uh, there was a local guy who lived just down the road who came up with his fort and as a uh, side by side. We watched him. He shattered the window of the cab. Pulled the guy out of the cab and was trying to help him up the embankment. He was not in good shape. Uh, 
That photo looked brutal. I can't, I couldn't believe when we we thought he got really hurt. Yeah, it was. And uh, the guy that was driving said, "I got 50 cows back here," and I was like, you can, "I can't hear anything." And then all of a sudden, I, I hear the, the cows start like banging around in the trailer. The the EMS came and set up a, a a grid for the cows to come out of the trailer. Most of the cows survived the crash, but it was it was good to see that the local guys came and got the guy out of the out of the cab before the thing caught on fire. Um, pe people were just there to help. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Day five, another day to live in Dust Bowl world. Can't wait. Roads are gonna be fantastic. Yes, Detroit next. Yeah. Day five. Good morning. Day five. Good morning. Good morning. Team Canada. I said we had, we had a pretty good week, so um, as I can't really say much about the gimmicks, obviously, but you know we're feeling pretty confident. <laughs> you know, me and Dad, we work so much, so it's yeah. like this is kind of like out of our lifestyle kind of thing. So it was nice to. To do something new and like, you know, it's not only really just new, but also do it together. So, welcome to Team 76 Fan Club, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's our prize. Surprise! I'd like to invite you all for a group photo before we leave. Cadillac up top. There you go. Wheels are lined up. It's like yeah. I say, this looks like a Cadillac, only much, much smaller. Yeah, you can really tell from this side. Uh, Elvis, I'm gonna let you nab me. Did I wait or hesitate? Did I stutter when I said? How much fuel did we take? 14 gallons. Harry? 14. So we're right, still right at 10. It's not so bad. So right now we're running a 500 cubic inch plus 450 horsepower to the wheel through a three-speed automatic transmission. It must be 50% drivetrain loss. Although Henry's father designed this transmission. I don't know for sure, but he was working there when this car was produced and uh, quite likely had a hand in designing it. So no one, no one Henry's tolerance for error. This transmission is probably pulling 50% of the power of the motor. 
<laughs> Very funny, JB. <laughs> so you're probably looking at a thousand horsepower race motor into this beast. <laughs> There's air shocks in the back, they tend to leak. So you end up with Cadillac squat. Beautiful thing. Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap. Tightened up the nut on the bottom of the <laughs> Well, Dee always had like a great love for life and uh, just kind of living things in the moment, and also a love for phallic items, so that's why this trophy is a big dick. <laughs> this year's winner of the Dee Rogers Award is car number 76, Team De Heligant. <laughs> and an honor in the spirit of Dee Dee Rogers, who would have loved each and every person in this room. I think this is a testament to our abilities and our endurance. <laughs> the winner of the Spirit of the Dust Bowl Award, the Willie Williams Award, and this is going to be awarded to the team that most embodied the Spirit of the Dust Bowl in every way, um, goes to car number 03, Team Delta Farce. I've learned a few things over the years, and uh, I know that Maryland is real. No, it does. <laughs> the West is pretty awesome. Uh, the East is also pretty awesome. America. Texas is the best. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. It's called the Dust Bowl Wrench of the Rally. This is actually the uh, rotor from our bus. Sure the wheel bus. fell off. <laughs> this rotor goes to the person or team in the rally that was most helpful in mechanically fixing some other vehicle. It is the Wrench of the Rally Award. All right. And we have consulted with Pavin, who won it last year. Stephanie Murlock. Hey! <laughs> Take this home and display it proudly. It's your problem now. People's Choice Award. You guys voted the most for this team. Car number 69. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what we did, but you guys are, you guys are a blast. To the window, to the wall, we get sweaty on dust ball. Skeet, skeet. So... Woodward is tonight. It's a beautiful Friday night in the summertime, which means it's going to be popping. It just is every Friday. All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming out this year. We hope to see everyone come back again next year. Are 
How was it? It's fun. It's always fun. It's very unique in its format. It's very unique in its objective. I think that makes it different. This is all of your first year, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And how was it? It sucked. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was bleak. Amazing. It was, no, it was great. It was great. It was and uh, we're looking I forward to it. doing it again. So, yes. that's some really nice people. Really nice people over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. Favorite road? Favorite time? Favorite time? I mean, I, I enjoyed the road where everybody got sick. I thought that was fun. We tried out track mode in the new car. It went really well. We didn't die. We were doing spirited, spirited driving. That's the buzzword. That's the thousand dollar buzzword. Spiritedly. Yeah. And now we're going to go drive up and down Woodward. Spiritedly. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, that's a nice one.